This 2010 Mercedes C220 CDI is an update and it's done just 97,000 kilometres. The update came with LED taillights and the much nicer Mercedes-Benz alloy wheels. This car is an avant-garde. It's got navigation, Xenon lights, a Harman Kardon sound system and an impeccable logbook history. It's got two remote keys, climate control and front and rear parking sensors as well. The avant-garde also came with much better seats. And the good thing about the 220 CDI is it's economical and reliable. It's got a four-cylinder diesel and Mercedes really have always been known for their diesels. When you look at the old 300Ds, 240D, 220D from the early 70s, they're very good cars. The back seats fold down, the flick of a switch, which is an option as well. Being a 2010, it was updated. This shape, W204 series, came out in 2007, and generally every three years or so they do get a, an update. I think these wheels look considerably better than the earlier model. It's got Continental tyres all around, and the service history really is impeccable. I, I really wish that all the cars which, uh, which we saw were looked after like this one. We will have a quick look. The interior is in particularly good condition. It's got all the original books, two keys, there's the spare key. Let's have a look here. Okay. So, the first service on this car was done at Morrison's of Chatswood, then it went to Sanderson's. So I'm just going to run through the kilometres, so 9,000, 15, 15,000, 32,000, 51,000, 64, 69, 76, 81, 86, 91, and 95, so... That's what I meant by impeccable servicing by this Mercedes specialist in Rush Cutters Bay. That's very impressive. I mean, generally with Mercedes like this, they claim that they can they can be driven, you know, 15,000 kilometres between servicing, depending on how they're driven, which, you know, I think is absolutely fine when the cars are quite new. But when they get, you know, to 50 or 60,000 kilometres, I think it's sensible to service them more regularly. This car most recently has been serviced every 5,000 kilometres, which is great. I didn't look at the dates, but I would assume that it's been serviced every year or 10,000 kilometres, and what probably happened was it was only doing 5,000 kilometres a year recently. If it had been serviced every six months, that's not a bad thing either. But it is very, very good. I guess what I'm saying is that whoever buys this car, it's only just been serviced a couple of thousand kilometres ago. I don't think it's necessary to service the car every 5,000 kilometres. I would suggest every 10,000 kilometres or 12 months would be sensible. It's also, the update also got daytime running lights, LED lights at the front there. For a black car, it's in particularly good condition. And I think it's incredible value for under $25,000 when you consider it. it is a 2010 model. It's an avant-garde. It's got some great options, a very good history, two keys. And I have driven it. It does drive beautifully. When the W204 came out in 2007, I think it won a car at the year. I mean, the C-Class Mercedes, you know, whenever I, I check, it seems to win car of the year. I guess that's because it's economical, reliable, safe, all of these things. And if you haven't driven one, you should. 
they drive particularly well they've got a small turning circle in their rear wheel drive a lot of European cars are front wheel drive front wheel drive is okay but I was fine with rear wheel drive you generally get a better turning circle you don't go through you know CV joints and all that sort of thing at the front and I don't I personally don't like the torque steer which you can get on front wheel drive vehicles But it's very impressive and it's not a car I think will last very long in this condition in an update with such a good history. If you have any specific questions about the car please give us a call. We are the Old Timer Centre and we're contactable on 029569 You can ask myself, my name is Philip. We do offer in-house finance and uh, Richard looks after finance. And we're 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney, CBD and Sydney Airport. It's what we often do with a car like this if you're from interstate or the country. We can take a small deposit to hold the car, subject to seeing it. But it's a very impressive car. And I'd welcome the opportunity to take anyone for a test drive who wishes to, pur to uh, purchase this beautiful car. Thanks again for watching.